हाय जब हमें कंप्यूटर पर काम करना है तो हमारा प्रोजेक्ट हमें वर्ड में करना है एक्सेल में या पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन बनाना है ये नॉलेज टाइम एंड एनर्जी सेव करता है सेम वे विद लिटरेचर वाइल रीडिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेदर प्रोज और पोइट्री एंड इफ पोइट्री विच फॉर्म ऑफ पोइट्री लाइक लिरिकल सॉनेट फ्री वर्ड्स ब्लैंक वर्ड्स लाइमरिक एल एन जी ऑड और बैलेट ना ड्रामेटिक रिफ्लेक्टिव मेडिटेटिव एपिकल एंड नेरेटिव पोइट्री इज रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ब्लैंक वर्ड्स द टाइटल स्लाइड इज इंडिकेटिंग स्टूडेंट्स दैट टूडे आर टॉपिक इज ब्लैंक वर्ड्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट लिटरेरी टर्म ब्लैंक वर्ड्स Interesting thing about this term is that it's verse but blank. Now any verse which has rhythm, beat, music, how can it be blank? As you know, any poem, verse, song, lyric is differentiated from prose through its rhythm, musicality. So what's lacking which makes a poem blank? And that important factor is rhyme, because we know rhyme adds to the appeal, magic, beauty of a poem. Its rhythm. repetition rhyme which makes the poem so enduring so essential to develop language skills that we are having nursery rhymes also like 30 days has september april june and november all the rest have 31 except february also which has but 28 days clear and 29 in each leap year well look factual knowledge about days in a month is a beautiful poem thanks to the end rhyme but blank verse poet doesn't use this rhyme scheme i'm coming to term blank verse why it's called blank verse because poet doesn't use this rhyme scheme so it comes closer to spoken language and can be used for drama also here the important fact is a blank verse is a poetic form so some kind of rhythm music must be used and that rhythm and beat is of iambus we have a separate video on iambus you can listen before or after this video to make to make blank verse more clear to you for the time being iambus is unaccented syllable followed by accented syllable now the principle to written about a uh, literary term is that first we have to define it then chart out its history chronologically who invented it who were the poets or authors through the different ages who used it and in which age its use decline and what is its present condition so we define blank verse as blank verse consists of unrhymed iambic pentameter lines it is closest to the natural english speech as compared to all other verse forms in other words it's nearest to prose that's why it was used by marlow shakespeare and other great dramatists for their plays it developed in italy and sarre introduced the blank verse form into english with his translations of the aeneid in about 1540 after this it was frequently used by the university wits in their plays marlow provided flexibility to the major by allowing the sense to run on for several lines and his blank verse has become termed as mighty line of marlow while marlow and other university wits had already highly improved the form shakespeare took it to perfection unattainable by any even after several years of the great dramatist's death look the use of blank verse has been highly debated some critics including dryden favor rhyme in drama while other argue that everything cannot be said in rhyme suppose we want to ask a servant to shut the door it would sound highly absurd if if it is in rhyme therefore blank verse is most suitable form for dialogue Blank verse has been used by later writers for poetry also. Milton's epic poem Paradise Lost is in blank verse. Wordsworth's autobiographical preludes and T.S. Eliot's Wasteland is also in the same major. Browning used it for his dramatic uh, dramatist monologues and Thomson for his seasons. It remained a 
practiced form until now until the 20th century when modernists rebelled and openly experimented with the traditional forms regardless blank verse was embraced by yeats pound frost and stevens who skillfully brought the tradition through the century while it may not be as common as open form it retains an important role in the world of poetry for the time being i think uh, the term is clear to you that blank verse is unrhymed iambic pentameter lines and this video will flow into the, our next video on iambic pentameter for the time being thank you students stay motivated keep learning thanks a lot thank you